Hello everyone. I welcome again in my YouTube channel. Today we are going to discuss a very important topic of uh, economic geology that is fluid inclusion in pores. So fluid inclusion. If we talk about the definition of fluid inclusion, a fluid inclusion is a microscopic bubble of liquid and gas that is trapped within a crystal as minerals often form from a liquid or aqueous medium tiny blobs of that liquid trapped within the crystal or along healed crystal fracture these small inclusions range in size from 0.1 to 1 mm and are usually only visible in detail by microscopic studies. Fluid inclusion is a very small microscopic bubble of liquid and gases which is trapped in the crystal when any other crystal is made. अगर उनकी साइज की बात करें तो वो बहुत छोटी साइज के होते हैं इंक्लूजन्स जिनकी जो साइज होती है 0.1 से 1 एम mm तक होती है और उनको माइक्रोस्कोपिक स्टडी से ही देखा जा सकता है तो एक फ्लूड इंक्लूजन का फोटोग्राफ है इसमें हम क्रिस्टल के अंदर वेपर बबल्स को देख सकते हैं दीज इंक्लूजन्स occurs in a wide variety of environment. For example, they are found within cementing minerals of sedimentary rocks, in gang minerals such as quartz or calcite in hydrothermal circulation deposits, in fossil umber, in deep ice cores from the Greenland and Antarctic ice caps. The inclusion can provide information about the condition existing during the formation of enclosing minerals. This is a very important uh, application that they provide the information about the condition existing during the formation of enclosing minerals. When the mineral ka formation hua hoga, to us time enclosing kya conditions thi, unko information provide karwata hai. Trapped bubbles of air and water within fossil amber can be analyzed to provide direct evidence of climate condition existing when the resin or tree sap form. The analysis of this trapped bubble of air provides a record of atmosphere composition going back 140 million years. The data indicate that the oxygen content of the atmosphere reached a high of nearly 35% during the Cretaceous period and then plummeted to near present level during the early tertiaries. So the abrupt decline correspond to or closely follows the Cretaceous Paleogene extinction event and may be the result of a major meteoritic impact that created the six loop crater. Air bubble trapped within the deep ice cap can also be analyzed for clues to ancient climate conditions. Host minerals. Fluid inclusion may host mineral compounds. Generally, spheleryte, cassiterite, quartz, calcite, dolomite, fluorite, halite, apatite, topaz and barites are known. Some feldspar in granite also contain fluid inclusions. Now classification the based on entrapment. Fluid inclusion divided into three categories. First one is the primary fluid inclusion secondary fluid inclusion and pseudo secondary fluid inclusion first we talk about the primary fluid inclusion 
it formed during the formation of enclosing crystal and it trap along growth zone and crystal faces it indicate conditions of formation now secondary fluid enclosure that is trapped in fractures caught due to healing of fractures occurs as trails and clusters trails ke roop mein a cluster ke roop mein ye paya jata hai it cut across again uh, across grain boundaries here this figure showing the growth zone of crystal and micro fractures crystal ki growth zone and this is the micro fracture this figure showing the primary and secondary fluid inclusion this is the primary and this is inclusion along the fracture that is the secondary inclusion and the primary is the along the grain boundary now pseudo secondary fluid inclusion it trapped during the formation of host mineral and it occurs along trails and abruptly against grain boundaries or one of the growth zone uh, this uh, figure showing all the three types of fluid inclusions uh, that is the primary fluid inclusion that is the secondary fluid inclusion along the fractures and this is the pseudo secondary inclusions and this all is the host crystal in which the fluid inclusion is uh, happening now composition the composition of trade fluid trap the fluid varies vapor or liquid phase in which h2 is common gas phase in which co2 ch2 h2s fluoride bromine chlorine and iodine are common in the solid phase sulfur sodium potassium calcium magnesium iron and their salts in which especially halides are common how we study the fluid inclusion the method used to analyze fluid inclusions are manual manipulation under the microscope the microscope ke niche hum ek manual manipulation karte hain the microthermometry in which minus 200 degree celsius to 1500 degree celsius you now laser raman microprobe laser ablation with mass spectrometry baroacoustic decrypitation so these are the methods to study the fluid inclusions this is the photograph of a photo of laser raman spectrometer and the example of spectra for the gas and aqueous phase in the inclusion so ch4 n2 co2 co2 n2 c4 s2 all these are the spectra of the gas and aqueous phase of the fluid information can we get there is pressure temperature of the fluid system salinity of aqueous fluid composition of the fluid gas composition of the fluid density of fluid by tmf and th of and isocodes no what are the practical applications of fluid inclusion uh, for mineral exploration in which uh, hydrothermal deposit for gold silver copper etc co2 salinity temperature etc we can get the information about all these things so these are the diagram of uh, fluid inclusion in which the vapor bubbles are uh, enclosed in the crystal so here uh, there is a case study of uh, fluid inclusion in copper deposit if hydrothermal fluids is highly saline about 23% of nsl halide can recrystallize upon cooling with solid crystal present 
Such fluid usually occurs in porphyry copper deposit or the core of igneous inclusion related fluid system. Saline inclusion are less common. Fluid inclusion in gold. Here, here this is a case study from Hollinger metal into gold deposit. So contours of CO2 content in the mole percentage for fluid inclusion in surface vein samples. So these are the contours of the CO2 concentration. Case history. This is the Hollinger metal inter mine media, Ontario, Canada. Few more examples of uh, fluid inclusion. The Cobra Gold Field in North Southwest Australia. The Woods Point Gold Deposit in Victoria, Australia. The Brusum Gold Mile in Northern Italy. Kalgoorlie area of Arcane Deposit, Western Australia. These are the some important example of fluid inclusion in ores. In summarizing, we can say that fluid inclusions is a tiny bubbles trapped in crystal of mineral give information about its temperature, pressure, salinity, density, composition, etc. If minute crystals are present in the inclusion, such as halite, sylvite, hematite, or sulfides are present. They provide direct clue as to composition of the original fluid. They are also used for petroleum exploration, mineral exploration, sedimentary phases, environment, and diagenesis, morphometric grades, paleohydrogeology, air inclusions in ice cores, etc. Different methods are used for the analysis and assay of the samples are analyzed. They are also used for hydrothermal ore deposits. These are the references. And thank you very much.